Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Oklahoma Sooners add another commitment to the 2024 class and three-star quarterback Brendan Zerberg from the state of Ohio, formerly committed to Northwestern, flips his commitment. And I saw some buzz that this might happen earlier last week. Decided to dig into the film of Brendan Zerberg because I was a little bit surprised, right? You already have Michael Hawkins locked in in that 2024 class. And to hear that Oklahoma was kicking the tires around to adding another arm into this class, I was a little bit surprised. But I'll tell you what, when you dig into what Brendan Zerberg is as a quarterback and what the ceiling of Brendan Zerberg could be, I think Oklahoma fans have a lot to be excited about. And it's kind of easy to see why Brent Venables, why Coach Jeff Levy wanted to add this kind of arm into their quarterback room. Now, before we break it down, just want to say thank you to you guys. It's truly been a blast talking this recruiting trail. All the support, especially from the Oklahoma fans. I mean, any chance I get to talk some Oklahoma football, I'm always going to take opportunity of that. You guys have been absolutely awesome with all the support you have shown. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We are breaking down as many of these commitments as we can. Appreciate y'all rocking with the boys like you do. And let's get into Brendan Zerbrug. At the bottom line, I think Oklahoma saw that you need to have depth at that quarterback room. When Dylan Gabriel went out last year, it got ugly. You're seeing Brent Venables really build a strong quarterback room. Not only depth at the quarterback position, but competition. You see so many teams across the country go to have to go to the transfer portal to find just one quality arm to be a starting quarterback. If you can avoid that, if you can avoid being desperate to find a starting quarterback because you can recruit the quarterbacks out of high school, I think you're in a lot better spot. And you take a look at this quarterback room for Oklahoma, present and the future. I mean, guys like Jackson Arnold, Michael Hawkins, Kevin Sperry in the 2025 class. You got to be really excited about what you're getting. I want to get into Brennan Zerberg because, again, it's pretty easy to see why Coach Venables, why Coach Levy were interested in adding this quality of arm into that 2024 class. Looking at the numbers before we dive into the film, 75% completion percentage for over 2,000 yards, threw for over 20 touchdowns as a junior. Here's the kicker, the kicker that I love about this kid. 804 yards rushing with 11 touchdowns. He is a phenomenal athlete with the frame to become a really good athlete. You're talking about 6'4 frame. He could get up to 210 pounds. He's a slender guy right now, but if he gets up to 210 pounds, I could see him being an extremely dynamic quarterback that in terms of extending plays with his feet could be a serious problem for opposing defenses. Let's get into the film. Again, he Talking about a dude that can make any throw, he wants to throw from the pocket, loves to step up and and absolutely let it rip. And Again, I think a very, very impressive prospect because he can push down, attack that deeper third, layer his throws in a very, very nice way. Really complete quarterback that the ceiling, I think, is, is really, really high for this kid. Can throw on the run at a high level as well. Functional athlete, but tough kid. You see him layer his throws like that. I mean, that's... You see a lot of quarterbacks, they can throw it a million miles per hour. Go look at Joe Milton at Tennessee. I can throw it 80 yards down the field. Can you layer your throws? Can you be accurate? That's the question. And now you see the kids' wheels as well. A a dynamic athlete that can make every throw in the book, has that prototypical quarterback frame. Those guys are hard to find. And I think Oklahoma might have found one here. And I think, again, I mean, he throws this one. You check and take a look at this. I mean, steps up into the pocket really composed, manages that pocket well. And when it's time to fit it in and rip it into a small window, he certainly can do that as well. An arm that throws with nice touch, throws on the run, can layer it in really well. It's a a complete quarterback that, uh, again, you talk about ceiling, you talk about what this kid could be with some years of development under Coach Jeff Levy and this Oklahoma staff. I think you're really excited about what he brings to the Oklahoma Sooners. Now, Taking a look at this 2024 class, this is where I think it kind of gets fun, right? This offensive class right now for Oklahoma is absolutely elite. And you take a look at what this Sooners offense could be as you enter in the SEC, right, in 2024, what this offense could be in 2024 and 2025 with all the skill that they're adding. Talk about the quarterback room, Jackson Arnold. You add Michael Hawkins, Brendan Zerbrook, and Kevin Sperry. You don't have many questions. That One of those guys, it's going to be Jackson Arnold, Hint is going to hit and be an elite quarterback. But you also have a ton of talent in that room. All right, what surrounds that talent? 
You talk about a guy like Jaquez Petaway in the 2023 class. Let's talk about what they have coming in in this 2024 class on the offensive side of the ball. Number one running back, Taylor Tatum, a matchup nightmare in Devon Mitchell coming over from the state of California. Zion Kearney, one of the more polished wide receivers in this 2024 class, and you keep going down the list. Ivan Carrion, a, a true unicorn, 6'6", 200 pounds, has really good speed. And then the two guys I love, Zion Raggins, and you go down and KJ Daniels, Xavier Robinson, you have Michael Hawkins. I don't think, I think a lot of Sooner fans will assume that Brent Venables and the staff are souring on a guy like Michael Hawkins. I don't think that's the case. I think they're saying, hey, if you have an opportunity to make your quarterback room better, like Lane Kiffin did at Ole Miss, you certainly take that, especially when it comes to at the high school level, because you really don't, a lot of times you're projected. If you can get two guys that you project to be quality starting quarterbacks at the college football level, I think you take that every single time. And I'll tell you what, they wouldn't go after Brandon Zerberg when he's already committed to Northwestern, when you already have Michael Hawkins in that 2024 class. If you didn't think that a guy like Brandon Zerberg could be a quality starter at the college football level, quite honestly, and I, this is no knock on Michael Hawkins, but when you watch the film, I think Brendan Zerber could be truly a special quarterback if he kind of puts all those traits together. Again, big frame, big arm, phenomenal athleticism. He kind of checks all the boxes that you want in a starting quarterback. I put it this way, and we'll end it on this. The Oklahoma Sooners are in a really good spot in terms of the offense in the future, right? Loaded quarterback room, loaded talent around the quarterback. If you're a Sooners fan, you got to be really excited about what the potential is for this offense in the future. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the boys like you do. And if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll talk to y'all later.